Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern. And here we are again for another mad cat adventure here on the Northeastern Railway. And um yeah, we got plenty to do this week, so let's have a look at what we have to do. As we turn the camera down, we can see we have a hole. Da 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 and it needs filling. We did one of these arches last week and this week we're going to focus on getting this one complete and then we can go back to working on the platform. Um, this one should be a little bit straightforward, there's no steps, but there'll still be the details to add. So let's head over to the bench. And here we are, we're back at the bench and this was the arch that got away. What I mean by that, this is the arch that did not get finished. Um, so this is what we're going to concentrate on. Um, as you can see, there's a very, very shallow ramp and we've got handrail uh, either side. So we'll add them and we'll go back. Uh, I think I explained last week about 50 millimeters. Now, something else that was missed off last week's video is this name sign here um, because of the light it's probably um, well you can see that you can't see the name sign it's probably because of the sun beating down on it you wouldn't see it and uh, when the camera had took the picture it probably didn't focus onto the uh, name sign so that's um, something I'm thinking about adding but it might spoil the look of the arches um, but we shall see. Anyway, we had some really good feedback from last week's video. Lots of ideas coming from you guys um, regarding what to add to the station when I come to the station. Um, yeah, so this is where we are. And what I've done is I've cut a, a base for uh, the floor as it were and this will sit on top and this will give it that shallow um, ramp look it's not very much as you can see there two mil to nothing over 70 millimeters so we shall trim this and um, we'll glue that onto there after I have scored some lines um, so what I'm going to do I'm just going to do uh, probably about four millimeters in there and there there and there and stripe some lines so it looks as though uh, when they poured the concrete in for the ramp um, you know the tamper lines for getting the um, lamp ramp level um, that's what I'm going to put in using a black pen and every millimeter apart only up to those lines so once that's painted it'll look um, like anti well there will be the be anti-slip lines so we shall scribe these in probably about a millimeter apart up to the two four millimeter millimeter lines and then once that's painted and glued on there, it will add a, a little tiny bit of detail. So that space there is roughly about 2 mil. Um, as we go into the tunnel, there's a, a millimetre drop um, from the curbing that's in there already. Um, so this will bring it flush. So when that goes into there, like so, so that'll be nice and flush. Right, so that's the ramp finished. Now I'm cutting the card for the actual tunnel roof. Um, it's going in uh, about 55 millimeters, and um, it's handy that I have kept uh, this former that came out of here originally. Um, so I shall use that to form the tunnels. So what I'll do is I'll go flush with that edge and then roll it over until it comes back to uh, this edge and then 
mark the tip there with a pencil and then this should then form the tunnel so I'll just cut that off of there um, it's not as big as the other one because the other one had uh, 28 millimeters worth of steps put in so this should be uh, a lot easier to do right so then we find the center of this whatever this may be so we're looking at 30 minutes, that's 15 and there. And then what we'll do, we shall roll that, form it. Now that we've formed our underpass roof, we now put the ramp flush to the base and then mark it and then we'll do the same to this side making sure you keep the top of the ramp to the same edge as you've done on the opposite side and then mark it so we've got at least where the floor is as you can see we've marked where the floor is so we've come up 13 millimeters um, but I might call it 14 actually 14 millimeters now let's just, just check that's 14 and 14 and what we did with the other one remember we had the white bricks and then we had the yellow um, paint uh, for the walls so we shall do the same so lots of one milli scribing do the main line first and then just make sure that you're following the same slope as the floor here and here see Then we just put all our little one milli lines in. Now I'm not going to scribe all the bricks because if you noticed in the last video when I painted it white with just one coat it looked like bricks even though it's just straight lines. So it's, it's not worth trying to replicate the, well not bricks, the tiles as it were. So I'm just going to do this. Just press them quite firmly and we'll do the same on this side. I'm now rolling the bricks which go into the upper roof of the underpass. Um, making sure I've got a nice tight um, roll on the card. And we'll just, that's just to avoid any creases. And make sure I put it in the right way as well so that should glue in there keeping it flush with the face edge of the tunnel because I've cut a millimetre off for the back now the back um, which is this as you can see this area here I'm going to paint black so it looks like the, the tunnel's gone further away. Then we've got the white tiles, the yellow um, paint, and then this piece here, I've got to delicately cut a piece of brick paper to fit this edge or this top area here. Uh, and then we can then glue that onto here and that finishes off the, the tunnel. Just using the rocket card glue for this. Um, just spreading the glue around on the on the roof, as it were, making sure I get every single little edge, and uh, hopefully 
We won't have no creases this time. Let me make sure I get the the wedge shape right, as you can see. So this bit goes to the front. And we should place that in the middle. And to the front edge. Make sure I get it equal. And then press home, roll it at the same time. And that already gives it its shape. Make sure that's flush. And then that then, once it's been painted, will be glued edge on to the existing tunnel fascia as it were, or the underpass fascia. So what I'm doing here is I'm marking out the lines for the side walls. As you can see I've done one side and I've done the, the ramp as it were as it goes further into the tunnel so what I'm doing is I'll just pick up that line and that line. So what I'll have to do is as I'm doing the lines is turning the rule at the same time. And it gives it that illusion that they're going away into the distance. And this is the illusion that I'm trying to create. It looks as though the underpass is going way off in the distance. As you know, it is quite a long, long underpass. So, yeah. So what I'll do now is I'll super glue the edges of these card. I uh, hope that the lines marry up and then we can start to paint the interior of this underpass. As you can see here where I've marked it before, that was my first uh, attempt to try and create the illusion and then I got the basic idea from that and then I turned it into that. So that is now ready for painting. We have moved on a little bit and as you can see, you can see right to the end of the tunnel. If you look closely, you can still see the blue handrail that goes up onto the platform. And I've actually added some weathering powder to the concrete there. So this is virtually ready to add to the um, layout. I'm just waiting on couple of handrails want to go either side and then we can put this in place but uh, let's have one last look before I put the entrance into the the hole as it were as you can see that is a lot better view that the light over this side of the room is a lot better you can see right into the underpass as far as it goes all the way down to the bottom of the tunnel as it were and uh, it fits in quite well with that LED that you see just on the top so that just misses the hole quite nicely once that's glued in that's about as far as you can see unless I use the cube camera which I think I will do for the final shot At last, that's the two entrances now complete. And um, yeah, I do like the way the LED has lit up the underpass. And um, now we can focus on the platform. Um, so I'm running some trials at the moment, making sure that all locomotives do not snag on the platform. And here comes the 9F with the iron ore train. And it's gone around a couple of times already now and um, there's no issues with it hitting the platform on this side. Um, still have to do a run around loop on the other side. Um, the EMU, as you can see over there, 
it does make the station look quite small. Um, twin car virtually takes up half of this platform, so I can quite easily get a full car EMU into the station. Only just. Um, the platform only measures uh, 1210 millimeters, so that's enough for four Suburbans and a locomotive, which it was designed for. Um, it's more or less the same length as the old time dock station. I just want to take you through some of the ideas that I've got for this platform. Um, as you can see, I have divided this half of the platform from that point there down to that line there um, into three segments. So we've got the refreshments room, the luggage room and the gents. Um, the luggage stroke porters room will have a lift. Um, Alright, it won't be a working lift, but it'll have a, a lift so that um, any parcels and whatnot can get down to the lower level. So that's the thought. Um, I have seen stations with lifts that take that sort of thing down to lower levels. Um, on this side of the platform, uh, we've already mentioned the booking hall or booking office because it won't be a hall because um, it's, not, it's not big enough that only measures about 50 mil by 78 that's the width of the building 78 by the way and then we've got 38 mil for the canopy which takes the canopies to the edges of the platforms and then we've got the station master's office and he's got quite a big office there that, that works out at about um, 75 mil and then we've got the ladies and then we've got a waiting room um, mind you all these ideas at the moment are still in the designing stage because that could change but um, yeah that's that's the general idea uh, the platform is not finished just yet I've got to drill some holes into the platform um, here, right underneath the station master's office, will be a, a big slot, big enough to take a um, a connector, uh, a two-way connector, which will feed all the electrics for the station. Um, and then over here we have a hole that's going to be drilled for a lamp post, like we've seen in the time dock photograph so I'm going to put a lamppost there and I'm going to put a lamppost at the other end of the platform roughly in the same position just about here now <laughs> the other idea I've thought of all those little buildings that we've seen in that lovely um, coloured photograph I can put on the platform because and then put a fence around this half here so you'd have the plate layers hut and uh, the, the, the other building as well. And then cause from that point to about there, that's where the canopy goes all the way around. So we won't see much of this platform. Hence why I didn't go too mad on detailing it. So yeah, so once the holes are drilled, and I'm quite happy that no none of the rolling stock is going to hit the platform because it is quite tight um, the, the, the space between the, the locomotives and the edge of the platform um, so here we have a walkway that's basically my marker for setting up the platform 
because um, that's now glued in place and the walkway will go off towards the, the signal box um, yeah so I just thought I'd give you a little insight to the ideas on what I propose to do with the station moving on a bit I have added the rest of the walkway right way around to the signal box um, so that's done and um, no sooner have we knocked the walls down originally we've put the wall back um, that's just made out of two pieces of two mil card sandwiched together with the Medkov stonework so that wall is I've just, only just put it down so I'm going to let that dry before I think about adding the capping stars that we've got here no point using this one. What we got here? Right, um, the holes uh, are now drilled into the platform. So we've done that and the platform's now screwed down. So the next thing to do is to ballast the tracks now. Um, there's lots of videos of me ballasting tracks, so I'll just do that quickly off camera. And then, yeah, that's about it, I think. Well, it's been another very eventful week here at the North Eastern. Um, we've managed to finish the Bolden Lane entrance. Um, we've added the platform to the baseboard, prepped it as well for the lamp posts and the cabling, which is going to light up the buildings. As you can see, the ballasting is now finished. I've just got to paint the rails. I will be putting a link um, in the comments section for a ballasting video for those of you who, that are interested in the ballasting. Um, we've still got a little bit of work left to do on the far side there. We've got to separate the branch line and the main line using some greenery like we've got there. So that will run right down the middle there and that will finish that off. We managed to put up a wall this week as well and we finished off the walkway that goes towards the signal box so we've done quite well this week and I think that is all we've got time for so I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and then we'll see you again next time thanks again for watching bye for now bye Okay.